Now, listen to this exchange. It's between Democrat Senator Chris Murphy and our own Brett Baer. It's all over Florida's parental rights law. Watch this, please. Roll it. This effort in uh, Florida to sort of target gay kids in schools, um, I just think is mean-spirited and something that I had not seen from the Republican Party. I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. To target gay kids in schools? I mean, the sure. bill is about not talking about sexual identity from K through third grade. That's not targeting gay kids. Yes, it schools. is. It absolutely is. It is sending a message to these kids. With your children, did you talk about sexual identity as a kindergarten, kindergartner? Do you, I mean, you don't talk about the birds and the bees, let's lo let alone the birds and the birds at that age. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Joining me now, the Attorney General of the State of Florida, Ashley Moody, back on the program again. Madam Attorney General, uh, great to have you with us. Are great you to be with in, you. I'm sorry, are, are you in Florida targeting gay children? Again, I would submit to you that this is disinformation that we routinely see among those on the radical left. It is no surprise that parents around this nation are waking up to what is being taught, let me rephrase, what is being pushed in our educational system. And Governor DeSantis and the leaders in Florida are trying their very best to ensure there are some parameters to protect very young children from information or teaching curriculum uh, that, that may be inappropriate or too complex for young minds. And this smear campaign against the leaders in Florida that they in any way are targeting or bullying or harming young children is directly opposite of the intention. And as a mom of a school-aged child, I, I think every mom and father across this nation would want that from their leaders. I don't know anyone who has a young child, and by that I mean six and under or eight and under. I don't know any parent of that kind who wants gender preference taught and instruction in gender preference to those very young children. I don't know anybody who wants that. So I guess that the, the, what the Democrats will do is try to extrapolate out and say, no, it's not about gender preference for young kids. It's about gays, LGBTQ. It's that issue. But it's not, is it? Well, and that's why I think it's so important that media outlets focus on the facts and what is actually written in proposed legislation and protections. We want people to be treated fairly and decently. Leaders work towards that every single day. But we also have responsibilities to live up to offering an educational system that presents educational material at an age-appropriate time. Right. And parents, we feel that gutturally, and I'm proud that there are shows like yours willing to represent that and discuss it. Well, uh, another issue, you're calling for DHS Secretary Mayorkas to resign for creating that disinformation board. Uh, I don't think he's going to retire. Uh, he, he's not going to resign. So can you get rid of this disinformation board without him resigning? Well, then the American people need to step up and demand it. Talk about this, this disinformation being pushed throughout our nation. Secretary Mayorkas is a walking fraud. He is supposed to be leading a security agency, yet every act, every decision has undermined security of this nation. He, his actions are propping up transnational criminal organizations. That's from a report within his own agency that I released. We see record number of drug traffickers, sexual offenders, those on the terrorist watch list coming into our country. He has instructed that our top law enforcement officials now release those committing crimes that are here illegally back into our communities. And under his watch, a record two million in one year have flooded into our border and into our nation. He's failed miserably, and he is not a law enforcement official as he purports to be. His every decision undermines our security, and the American people need to demand that this president wake okay. up, or let me get, let's start pushing back against those radical handlers of yours and start protecting this country. I'm going to leave it right there. Madam Attorney General, a great pleasure. Thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate it. Absolutely.